I want to share with you today some profound data about our medical malpractice litigation system. This data results from a collaboration between the doctor's company, which insures more than 75,000 doctors across the United States of America, and RAND Corporation. You see before you almost all of the specialties, and you see at the top of the list neurosurgery, cardiovascular surgery, general surgery. You see the bars moving out across the screen to the right, and you see that at the top, nearly 20% of neurosurgeons, cardiovascular surgeons, report a claim every single year. Meaning that if you are an average neurosurgeon, you'll have one claim every five years. If you have five neurosurgeons sitting at a table and they've been in practice for five years, on the average, every one of them will have been sued. And in fact, if you think about it, since it takes three or four years to close the average malpractice claim, not only will every one of them have been sued, at any given time, probably three or four of them will be in active litigation. That's bad enough, but this chart tells even a more important story. The blue part of the bar represents claims that are closed with no indemnity payment to the plaintiff at all zero. The orange part of the bar shows claims in which an indemnity was in fact paid. So if you look at this chart, all of the blue on the chart represents fruitless for sure and frivolous, if you will, litigation against America's physicians. This is really a national disgrace and it's as powerful evidence, objective evidence, as I think it's possible to have that our malpractice litigation system is broken and needs to be fixed.